Hi. Okay, so in my last video I showed you how to build this armature that we have in front of us, and now we're going to make some adjustments to it to be able to use it. So we're going to go ahead and go into edit mode. Uh, we have this handle sticking out of the back selected. Then down here where it says selected bones, in the BO dialog, we're going to want to type the name, which for this bone is going to be master. And then child of, we can click on that dialog or uh, menu and just click the blank space. So it'll be child of nothing. Uh, so now the only way to move the master bone in pose mode is to actually move it by itself instead of moving a parent of it. Now we're going to select the lower spine. And I'm going to call it lumbar. And child of master. Now we're going to do the hips. I'm going to use the underscore capital letter convention for uh, naming the right and left. So it's going to be hip underscore capital R. Well, no, this is the left, so it's going to be underscore capital L. Child of is going to be lumbar. And then the same on the other side, hip underscore capital R child of lumbar. Now, normally a bone is parented to whatever bone it was extruded from, but uh, the hips were extruded from the root of the lumbar instead of the tip, so they weren't automatically parented. So now we're going to go down to these uh, pieces sticking out of the knees, and we're going to name them. It's going to be knee, R, and then click the CO button to disconnect. And then child of master. And you can see there's a dotted line showing that it's parented to the master. And then do the same thing on this side. Knee uh, left. Disconnect. Child of master. Then we're going to go into side view and we're going to uh, reselect the knee and move it forward just a little bit to about there. It doesn't need to be very big, so we're going to scale it down just to make it a little less obtrusive. Now we're going to select these uh, handles sticking out of the foot. And since it controls the entire leg, I'm just going to name it leg right. Uh, disconnect it and parent it to master. Then on this side, leg left, disconnect and parent to master. Now we're going to do the shin bones. Uh, it's just going to be shin right and shin left, and they're automatically already going to be parented to the thighs, and that's what we want, so we're going to keep that the same. Now we're going to do the toe bone, select it, toe left, disconnect, and child of is going to be the leg bone, in this case it's leg left. And do the same for the foot, I'm going to call this foot left, Disconnect, child of leg left. And do the same on this side. Toe, right, disconnect, child of leg right. Then foot, right, disconnect, child of leg right. And now we need to make some adjustments to uh, keep the legs. Uh, acting like they should and keep them from bending backwards. So we're going to select the shin, move into pose mode with control tab, or you can select it down here. And we're going to add constraint, IK solver. Uh, in the object dialog, we're going to type armature, and then below that there will be BO and we're going to type in the name of the foot bone. So in this case, it's foot underscore capital L, and change the chain length to two.
Now you see if we select the uh, handle on the leg and move it a little bit, the uh, whole leg moves with it. You can see it a little better in side view. So this is going to make it a lot easier to uh, make walking animations. Then we can repeat the process on the other side. Select the other shin bone, IK solver, in the target box armature for the object, and foot underscore left, in this case, for the bone, chain length 2. Now, to keep the knees from bending backwards, we're going to want to uh, select the uh, thigh bone, add constraint, IK solver. The target object is once again going to be armature, and the bone is, in this case, going to be the knee. So then this, uh, this side is going to be knee right. Now you see the entire uh, body twisted like that because it's all trying to point towards the knee. So we're going to change chain length to 1, and that will make just the thigh bone point towards it. And repeat on the other side. Add constraint, IK solver, object, armature, bone, knee, left, chain length, 1. Now, you see if we move into side mode, grab the handle of the leg and move it around a little bit, we can uh, basically make it like he's walking. And the constraints on the thighs are keeping the legs from bending backwards. And just to show you what the master bone does, we're going to select it and grab it, move it around, and you see that moves the entire armature. So now this armature is done and ready to be used. Um, to make it a little bit easier on yourself, you probably want to go ahead and name all of the bones, but I'm not really going to walk you through that right now because uh, you can do that on your own. And uh, this is a completed armature. Uh, the next step is weight painting.